Okay, let's go ahead and see how strong your basic math skills are. And we're going to go ahead and figure out this problem right here. Doesn't seem to be too difficult. I mean, we have addition, uh, we have multiplication, division, and the numbers are pretty simple. And of course, right here is multiplication. But uh, a lot of you are going to get this wrong because you're going to do this problem in the wrong order. So that's a little bit of a clue, so you could be extra aware, but if you can figure this problem out without the aid of a calculator, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one second, and then I will walk through the solution step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly, quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades, and it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need uh, assistance in math, if you're having a tough time, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer here. And if you need a little bit of extra time, you can certainly pause the video. But uh, let's go ahead and see the actual answer. The actual answer to this problem is 104. Okay, so how did you do? Okay, well, if you indeed, if you got this problem correct, if you got the right answer, I'm gonna give you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the order of operations. They'll be so impressed to hear that information, they might even take you out to lunch. Now, if you didn't get this right, don't despair. Uh, I bet you, you were pretty much on the right track, but you made a very, very common mistake. So no worries. Let's go ahead and get into this right now. All right. So how do we uh, do this problem? Okay. Well, a couple things. First of all, we certainly need to know basic number operations, right? Like how to add numbers and multiply and divide. And of course, this is multiplication. But that's not really the key to doing this problem because I'm going to assume that you know how to deal with basic number operations. But uh, the key is knowing this, all right? And what is this? Well, this is a little mnemonic, a little phrase that uh, represents the correct order of operations. You see, in mathematics, we have these things called mathematical operators. It's what we can do with numbers, right? We can what? Add numbers, subtract numbers, multiply numbers, divide numbers. We could take powers, etc. But we need to know what order to do these things in. Okay, so we have this thing called the order of operations. And you can remember it by this little phrase right here, PEMDAS. And uh, this little saying that goes with this is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'm pretty sure even my grandparents way back in the good old 1950s were saying this uh, themselves. This uh, phrase has been around forever. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I don't know what Aunt Sally uh, was doing, but nevertheless, we thank her for her cool little phrase here. All right, let me go ahead and just quickly review how this works because this is uh, basically our checklist to get the correct order of operations because, uh, you know, depending on, you know, how, what order we take to do this problem, we're going to end up with different values. And of course, there's only one correct value, one correct right answer. All right, so the P stands for parentheses. We're going to do everything inside parentheses, but the P really stands for grouping symbols. So if you have brackets or little uh, squiggly brackets like this, that's what the P is. I'm kind of going to go through this kind of uh, quickly because you want to challenge yourself um, with more challenge, um, difficult problems than this one right here that has uh, you know more sets of parentheses. But in this particular problem, we only have one set. So we'll talk more about the next step here in just one moment. But let me walk through the rest of this little uh, phrase here. Okay, so that's what the P stands for. E stands for exponents. So when you have a power like two squared, this little two up here is called an exponent, but you can think of the E as power. So we're gonna be looking for things like this. Now here is the next step, and this is where so many people get this wrong. The next step you would think is gonna be M, which most of you are like, what does that stand for? If you're thinking multiplication, then D uh, division, and then A addition, and S subtraction. You're on the right track, but most students, they know this phrase, PEMDAS, they go, oh, I have to always do multiplication, and then once I do all the multiplication, then I do division, etc. That's not how this works, okay? What you want to do is think of this as a group, all right? So M and D. So you're going to do multiplication 
uh, or division, whatever comes first from left to right. So if you see multiplication, then division from left to right, okay, you're going to do multiplication, then division. But if you see division and then multiplication, you're going to do the division next and then the multiplication. And you can see that's the situation we have at hand. And I bet you a lot of you said, oh, I got to do the multiplication first and did that, All right? And if you did that, I'm happy you made that mistake because that is a common error. But uh, anyways, we'll uh, see this in action here in a second. Uh, but let's move on and finish this up. The A and S stands for addition and subtraction, and it works the same way, whatever we see first from left to right. Okay, so that is the order of operations, PEMDAS. And if you have a good solid understanding of that, now we can just apply this checklist to do, these, uh, to do this problem one step at a time. All right, let's go ahead and start. So the first thing I have is parentheses, right? So what does that mean uh, in terms of PEMDAS? It means go inside the parentheses, the innermost parentheses, uh, parentheses or grouping symbols. And in this particular problem, there's only one set of parentheses. So we're going to go inside of the parentheses and take care of all this stuff first. So we have to figure out uh, where to start uh, because it's, it's like a math problem within a math problem, right? I have 20 divided by 4 times 5 plus 1. Now I'm asking myself, all right, what do I do next, right? I'm going to have to figure out the correct operation. Do I do addition? Do I do multiplication? Or do, uh, or do I do division? And again, just think about that PEMDAS checklist uh, and you'll always get it right. All right, so let's go ahead and see the next step. So the next step is, of course, you're going to be thinking about PEMDAS. You're like, all right, I'm inside the parentheses. E, is there any powers in here? Nope, there's no powers. So is there multiplication and division? Yes, all right. What do I see first from left to right? I see the division first. So this is what I have to do uh, first, uh, not the multiplication. So 20 divided by 4, which, of course, is going to be 5. All right, so uh, at this stage of the problem, we have uh, for this uh, operation right here, this number outside of the parentheses is multiplication, just in case you didn't know that. All right, so 20 divided by 4 is 5. So you want to take one step, and your work should look like this. Now, remember, math is a language. You want to write things step by step by step. You don't want to be like, oh, here's the problem, here's the answer, and then like have a blank piece of paper. That's not good for you, your teacher, or anyone else. So just have the discipline to be neat and organized and just take things one step at a time. Okay, so at this point, uh, we're still inside of the parentheses. We're not done with the P with the PEMDAS, right? Because the P stands for get everything done, but we still have more work to do. So we have multiplication and addition. Hopefully it's pretty clear that we have to do the multiplication next. And indeed, that's what, uh, what we're going to do. But before we take that uh, step, I'm going to ask you, if you have not yet subscribed, it really, really does help me on YouTube uh, with that YouTube algorithm. So consider subscribing if you like my content and hit that notification button so you can get my latest content. I'm pretty much posting uh, math videos every day from basic to advanced math just because I love teaching math. Anyways, back to the problem. All right, so again, uh, we're not done with the P, the parentheses part here. So we're still working inside the parentheses. So we have 5 times 5 plus 1. It's pretty clear that multiplication is going to become uh, before addition. So 5 times 5 is 25. So now we have 4 times 25 plus 1. But again, we're not done inside the parentheses. So we just keep working inside of the parentheses until we are completely done. So 25 plus 1, of course, is 26. So now we're finally down to uh, this point in the problem. So 4, this again means multiplication. 4 times 26. Of course, you could do that. And you'll get 104. All right. So when it comes to the order of operations, this is one of the greatest um, uh, places where students make so many errors. Okay. And you really need to practice this stuff. You know, it's one thing to watch uh, me. Uh, do a math problem. But if you want to really develop your own skill, you have to practice. It's like very much like, let's say you're watching um, basketball on TV, right? Now, if you're watching, you know, people on the NBA, you know, make all these great shots and whatnot, is that going to, you know, uh, make your skills better? No, you know what? I know how I'll improve my basketball skills. I'm going to watch in the NBA all day long. It doesn't work that way, right? 
you actually have to go and practice. But just like with sports, right, if you are struggling, that's okay. You'll get better, right? But the key is to correct your mistakes and understand them. And that is what I like to try to do uh, with my videos is give you clear uh, and concise instruction, right? And a lot of this stuff you're not going to see in a textbook because this comes from decades of experience. So I really try to emphasize these little things that if you can get right, you'll go uh, much, much, uh, you know, further, faster in mathematics. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.